Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get this dramatic, smoky copper eye. So if you would like to see how I did this, please keep watching. Starting off with a fresh face, I'm just firstly going to apply some Face of Australia primer all over my skin. And then I'm gonna start off with doing the eyes first. So just taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow powder, I'm just gonna start filling in my brows. Next, using Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, I'm just going to use my finger to start pressing this onto my eyelid and this is going to start off by creating a really nice base for the eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to lightly set that with some translucent powder. So I want quite a defined edge with this look, I am going to use a bit of tape just to act as a guideline. I'm then going to take this Inglot eyeshadow in the number 335 and using a really fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to blend this through the crease. I'm then taking the colour 605, which is a shimmer and a little bit darker, and I'm just going to take that on a more dense buffing brush and just sort of blend that through the crease even more. This time we don't want to go as high as we have gone with the previous colour. I'm now going to use the colour 558 and using more precise blending brush we're just going to concentrate this in the outer V and this is just going to add a bit more depth to the eyeshadow look. For the lid I'm using Astralis metallic eyeshadow and I'm just going to use a very small precise brush just to pack this onto the center of my lid. Then using one of my favorite loose pigments which is Max Copper Sparkle, I'm just going to go over the Astralis pigment and this is just going to give that really nice copper look. I'm using the Colour Theory Liquid Liner which is probably one of my favourite pen eyeliners to use because it doesn't dry out and it goes on so fluidly. So I'm just going to create a really big wing with this look because we are going for such a dramatic look. And then I'm just going to apply some mascara to top and bottom lashes. And of course we are going to apply some falsies and these ones are by Model Rock. my bottom lash line really dramatic, I'm now going to use Inglot's AMC Gel Eyeliner which is number 77 and I'm just going to apply this over my entire waterline and below the lash line. I know it looks a bit crazy at the moment but I promise we will be blending this out later. Moving on to foundation, I'm using Lumi Magique by L'Oreal and I'm just going to buff this onto my skin. I started off using a beauty blender but I found that it just didn't give me the coverage that I wanted so I ended up using the Real Techniques buffing brush and just pressed it into my skin to give me a medium to full coverage. Taking the darkest colour in the AC on Tour palette by Astralis, I'm just going to start cream contouring and applying this under my cheekbones. 
and I just used a really small eyeshadow brush for this because we will blend it out with a beauty blender later. I'm using Revlon's Color Stay in the lightest color and I'm just applying this under my eyes first and then I will also apply it along the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, chin and top lip. I'm then just going to take a beauty blender and start blending all of that out. foundation I'm using Inglot's translucent loose powder and I'm just going to buff this over my entire face. It's really important to do this before you do apply any powdered blushes or bronzers because otherwise it will just stick and it won't blend out very nicely. And then just using an Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit just to darken up those contoured areas. Then taking the shade Guava from the Smashbox Crush on Blush palette, I'm just applying this to the apple of my cheeks. Using the Inglot eyeshadow number 558, I'm now just going to blend out that bottom lash line. To bronze up my skin, I'm using Global Glow by MAC and I'm just using a fan brush to apply that over my cheekbones and along also my nose and forehead. And then of course to highlight I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle and just applying this on the highest points of my cheek and along the bridge of my nose. For my lips I actually used this Georgiana eyeliner which is in the colour brown suede and I just I started out by lining my lips and then I filled in the rest of my lip with this product. And that's it for this look guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.